Alrighty, looks like we are live. We are rocking and rolling. How's everybody doing today? Uh, my name is Junior, and I want to welcome you all back to the Daily Digital. Um, today is the 22nd of July, 2022. And um, yeah, we have another long list of wonderful black companies that I um, ran into during Black Tech Week. Um, just yesterday, um, yesterday was quote unquote the last day uh, for all the speakers and stuff like that. And of course, as we all know, Serena Williams, the wonderful Serena Williams, um, was there um, sharing her thoughts and, and, and everything about her business, uh, her clothing line. I didn't even know she had as well. Um, so without further ado, we are going to jump right into it, learn about what all of these different businesses have in store for our digital future all right so thank you everyone for being here again i'm not sure how long this one is going to be um again we just have a long list of wonderful black companies uh here with us um so this is again all about them i appreciate your guys time um to learn about all the different companies um and the first one here is black web fest um, Black Web Fest, and I'm just kind of scroll down here, um, is a basically uh, historically black founders receive less funding according to 2022 uh, report uh, uh, released by Accenture. Only 1% of venture capitalist funding is distributed to black founders, um, which is ridiculous in my opinion. Uh, we created a survey to highlight the needs of Black Web 3 founders. Our goal is to survey 100 black Web3 founders in 2022. If you're a Web3 founder, please help by completing a short survey. Um, and I'm trying to see uh, about page, yep. Um, so about BWF. <clears throat> what is it that we do? We are a Black Web Fest is an organization created to increase diversity in media and entertainment and help black creators build sustainable careers. We create accessible programming and services by providing them at a low or no cost. We leverage technology to better serve our community. Uh, our mission is to amplify black voices to, uh, we amplify our black voices to dispel stereotypes, misinformation, and combat institutional bias and racism in the media and entertainment industry. Um, uniquely, we use new media and technology to push our mission forward, we empower black creators to build sustainable careers. Our vision is to create a safe space for black creators to grow. We strive to organize programs that help our community adapt to uh, the rapidly changing digital landscape and build sustainable careers. We plan to support over 5,000 black creators by 2031 through our program and initiatives. Um, they are the, these are the board members, president, CEO, vice president. <laughs> it's like, why do you take that picture like that? But nah, she probably did it on purpose. Um, showing our personality. And she has a long bio, too. I'm, I'm kind of curious. Who are you? It's an award winning writer, director, producer in the July, in Christmas in July 1982. Um, production company founded herself, fellow. Okay, okay, okay. Interesting. Um, and I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna myself fill out this, um, cause I'm really big into Web3. I'm just gonna fill out this survey, but you guys can go ahead, blackwebfest.org, uh, blackwebfest.org, and um, fill out that survey as well if you are into Web3, um, for sure. Why web monetizing? It looks like they're really trying to get really into uh, into that aspect of it, um, which again, it's not a lot of black people that are into it. So um, definitely check out Black Web Fest there. Next one we have here is Pilotly. Um, I was trying to watch the video. Um, bringing powerful research to content creator. We've spent the better part of a decade developing and understanding 
of the creative elements that drive the success for various types of content. As a result, we've built a complete suite of tools to make complex creative research simple, getting you the audience insights you need rapidly. Um, so see exactly how it works. I'm actually gonna click on that because I'm curious. Uh, our platform in three simple steps, whether you launch through our client services or self-serve pilotly makes research easy. Um, so you can get insights tailored uh, step one is the study setup. Choose an environment, upload content, client services, complex survey, advanced audience quotas. Step two is a user experience. Okay. Step three is review results. Get an instant read on key points of performance and reference supportive norms. We've tested a variety of com content in very different environments. And as time goes on, we continue to bolster our ability to provide the context that brings meaning to our data. story we're not just some tech company we're passionate creatives at heart <laughs> I love the group photo my man James Norman uh, I'm gonna just real quick on a video I can't divulge all of our trade secrets. I can tell you we're really good at building things. And that's unique to a research company. Our ability to combine creative and technology is what makes everything happen here at Pilotly. We're not just some company coming from Silicon Valley to LA saying like, use our new big data solution and we know better and you should do it this way. We don't think that data is gonna create the next Breaking Bad or the next hit film. Pilotly's job is to empower creators, not just tell them what they can't do. Cause that's what often happens today. When it comes to creative excellence, there will always be a human element, and Pilotly's job is to help humans come to better decisions with more certainty. That's all. It's simple. We don't take any part of the research process for granted. We try and display questions in new ways, and look for new ways to collect information, and ultimately new ways to put all the data we collect together to make meaningful sense to creators. On top of that, our team is a big reason why we're able to even serve client needs and move with the market, because we're not just technically savvy, there's a big difference in us in that we come from a variety of cultural, socioeconomic, and educational backgrounds. And that diverse school of thought is what allows us to uniquely understand the TV viewing audience of today. Okay, okay, okay. Um, so yeah, so you guys can definitely check out... Uh, okay, I <laughs> started to play. Started to play again. I don't know. I'm going to switch the page. Um, so yeah, so you guys can definitely check out... Um, pilotly see how they can help you out in your content creation stuff like that uh, I have to do a bit more digging for that because um, if they can make like social media marketing a whole lot easier that would be ideal but I don't think that <laughs> I don't think that's their like their whole business uh, their whole whole business plan there um, so yeah moving forward we have visual uh, looks like another take on visual and it's powering the connection between people and brands marketplace makes it easy to list or find the locations you want in the neighborhoods you choose um, visual AI facial recognition that safely captures the metrics that matter the most uh, as you see here, this is a female who is sad and Asian and age 34. Here is a female who is happy, black, and age 28. How does it know the age? Jeez. Man, male who is surprised that's white and he's age 51. Um, scary times. 
Um, so yeah, so let's go to About Us, see exactly what it is that they do. Vision Wall was designed and inspired by human connections. Um, uh, they don't show, they don't show much about what it is. Um, Yeah, so I think they are more just a AI technology based company who's providing that AI technology to different companies, um, different brands so that they can kind of understand their, uh, what is it called? Their customer better, their customer base a whole lot better. Um, if I click on learn more. Uh, I would have to do more digging onto this. Um, probably even reach out to the founders on LinkedIn, uh, Kobe and Rajanish, I believe her name is. Um, no, Ranisha and Kobe. Um, and kind of, you know, just kind of pick their brain about how their business is and stuff like that. Uh, I'd be really interested to know how this actually works out as far as the AI side um, and see how See how they've been growing. Uh, looks like their portfolio is pretty strong here. Lots of uh, big brands that looks like use them. Um, good number of investors. Lightship is the one who kind of uh, was a head up on the Black Tech Week and all that stuff. So um, yeah, yeah, this is, a, this is an interesting one. Next up, Jude Charles. And this is judecharles.co. Video storytelling for your personal brand turns skeptics into raving fans by pulling back the curtains on your personal business. Um, the process of creating a story, uh, dramatic clarity, dramatic demonstration, dramatic leverage, dramatic demonstration book, Mr. Jew Charles. So it looks like it's sharing stuff through storytelling. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try and find there. That's it. Let's get started on your telling the story. Um, yeah, it looks like it's sharing information through storytelling. Uh, let me go here. Work with me. Yeah, road mapping strategy session. Hmm, this is one of the ones I had to do more research on as well, uh, just to make sure I am, because I don't want to give you guys, uh, you know, wrong information. Uh, so definitely check him out yourself, JudeCharles.co. Um, but. In order to tell your story, you and I are going to dig deep. Every project starts with a road mapping strategy session. Uh, I'll bring your story to life by conveying your purpose and passion in an engaging series of films. No need to for a script or teleprompter. Uh, at this point, I've developed your roadmap and brought you work story to life. But this is only 50% of the work. The other 50% involves making sure you have to share your story with the right people at the right time on the right platform using the right words. Yeah, so it looks like taking your story, putting it into video format, um, and so on and so forth. Cool. Uh, next up here we have Patient Orator. And Patient Orator uh, is the key to taking control of your health and well-being by tearing down communication barriers to your healthcare team. Patient Orator helps you plan your health visit so you can voice your health concern <clears throat> from the comfort of your home and without the fear or anxiety of being in a doctor's office and without the possibility of being dismissed or interrupted by your healthcare team. Um, so as again, I mentioned yesterday, uh, one of the companies that were there were doing like a mobile dentistry service. 
Um, so this is kind of right up that alley as well. Um, taking everything to the patient rather than the patient having to always go to the uh, professional. Powerful features for wellness support, um, self care or social care, caregiver, other providers. Um, so it's bridging the gap between the patient and the clinic. Uh, this is this would be really good too for like uh, people who speak a different language, because uh, sometimes there might not be someone who can translate at the hospital or clinic. Um, so you can have someone who is a, uh, I don't know, Spanish speaking, French speaking, stuff like that, um, be able to, to be on the other end as well. Uh, it looks like they have a Google app, an app on the app store, and so on and so forth. Let me see. Do I have, um, I don't think I saw a about us page, but I, I, I kind of get the gist of what they have here. Um, pretty nice concept. I like it. I like it. Um, 1863 Venture. This looks to be a venture capitalist. Um, this looks to be a venture capitalist um, website. Uh, or business, I should say. Um, we're the home for new majority founders and teams. Let's scroll down here. Rebuild your brand post-COVID-19. Meet the founders and brands behind our numbers. 1863 programs. Meet the brand goals. Um, yeah, so it looks like they're they're more of a venture capital fund. Um, so if you guys are looking to put money behind your own businesses, you may want to look into 1863. Uh, there were a lot of venture. I didn't know like you know black people, black people have money like that, yo. Like they got that money money um okay here we go meet 1863 uh our work in dc though we're a national brand we are deeply committed to being a force of change in the nation's capital meet the operators melissa bradley is the founder Okay, okay, okay. Um, yeah, they've got a lot. <laughs> they've got a lot going on here. Uh, I really want to like you know click on everything and, and learn more about them, uh, but I want to be respectful of your guys' time. So um, again, venture capitalists um, by Melissa Bradley here, uh, 1863 Ventures. So check them out. 1863Ventures.net.net. Uh, so definitely check them out there. Uh, Nesby. Nesby is actually one that I've actually heard of. So, uh, Nesby is the National Society of Black Engineers. Um, when I was in college, I got my mechanical engineering degree. Um, I myself didn't even know Nesby existed um, until it was like the last year or something like that, uh, where I actually kind of met up with a couple of other people who were a part of Nesby or in Nesby and um, <clears throat> introduced me to them. Um, as well. So uh, to all the young students out there, uh, black engineers who are looking to um, join a community of like-minded individuals, uh, check out Nesby for sure, uh, National Society of Black Engineers. And um, yeah, they, they are, I don't call them like a sorority or fraternity or anything like that, um, but they are a large national organization um, where engineers kind of, you know, help each other grow uh, not just while you're in college, but, you know, outside of college as well. Um, professional Development Conference, August 10th, 13th. So check that out. I'm trying to see if I can really get a good about us kind of thing going here. Um, it's one of the largest student governed organizations based in the U.S. Nesby was founded in 1975. Supports and promotes the aspirations of collegiate and pre-collegiate students and technical professionals in engineering and technology uh, with more than 600 chapters and more than 24,000 active members in the U S and abroad. Nesby mission is to increase the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically succeed professionally and positively. Um, 
impact the community. So yeah, this is um. I, I don't I don't have <laughs> I have nothing but good stuff to say here with Nesby. Um, um, we have birthed hundreds of businesses, trained thousands of corporate leaders, graduated tens of thousands of engineers, and engaged hundreds of thousands of K-12 students in STEM education over the 47-year history, both nationally and abroad. In short, NSBE members, chapters, and supporters are dedicated to increasing the number of culturally responsible black engineers who excel academically, succeed professionally, and positively impact the community. Um, what we do, our programs are at the heart of the Nesby commitment to building and maintaining a vibrant STEM pipeline. Leadership, technical excellence, academic excellence, and mentoring are all part of how we positively impact the community. Supporting Nesby means that you are working to build a strong legacy of leaders, innovators, and skilled global citizens that will positively impact the world for decades to come. Um, again, I'm not going to read everything on here, but uh, definitely check out Nesby. It's they've been, I mean, they said 1975. They have plenty of chapters all around the um, uh, all around the the U.S. here. Um, so yeah, viral, viral. Um, we know who's talking about your brand, and you should too. Viral. In video search has the power to elevate your brand with authentic content and great video SEO um, yeah this is a powerful one here especially when it comes to branding especially when it comes to marketing um, developing content for your your digital presence and everything for your business um, viral can definitely help grow that as well harness the power of video for personalized marketing and marketing I mean uh, and video right now is like the number one way to grow your business um, or actually get seen reach people <clears throat> YouTube has been a big player in that TikTok has been a big player in that um, I've been testing it out myself these past couple of weeks and I find that video actually helps engage with people a whole lot better than you know like long posts and stuff like that so um, visual is definitely the way to go uh, especially when you're thinking about like social media and stuff like that. Um, I've even been doing email marketing with video and stuff like that as well. So uh, consumers rely on video reviews to make purchases, decisions, brand trust shoots up by 20 X when shoppers can relate to the speaker, see the sentiment and watch the product product in action to help turn browsers into buyers. We've built a new way to video to source video content and understand what's being talked about video SEO that is profoundly relevant to your brand. Are you a Shopify store owner? We've launched a new app just for you. Um, so yeah, I think they're, they're are they all about e-commerce? I think they might be all about e-commerce. Um, but SEO, either way it goes, is, is a major thing here. Um, about us uh, viral was founded in Silicon Valley by Ajay Bam and Dr. Barbara Rosario through UC Berkeley uh, with a combined 15 plus years of background in e-commerce and artificial intelligence the team saw a need to help brand marketers uh, make sense of the massive amount of video data uh, the result is viral cutting-edge AI driven technology that for the first time in history watches and listens to millions of videos so brands can see quantitative and qualitative video insights at their fingertips. Backed by some of the top investors around the world, Viral has grown to become a company with a diversity of, a diversity of talent and cons customers. Um, Viral helps brand marketers make sense of massive amounts of brand and fan video data on multiple platforms in multiple languages. So yeah, so it's all about the data that you collect. Um, I myself probably would use this. I think I mentioned before uh, my clothing line that I want to kind of uh, get off the ground. Um, <laughs> but there's always a thing of AI technology kind of like 
reviewing your video. I mean, it's something we can't, if you put videos on the, on the internet, you can't really hide from it. I mean, computers are always on, they're always searching and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so that is viral, viral.com, V-Y-R-I-L-L. Uh, next up is leasequery.com. And leasequery is a accounting platform, it looks like. Um, uh, I think of accounting, you think of like QuickBooks, uh, and stuff like that. Accounting solutions you can trust. Uh, leasequery moves complex accounting out of spreadsheets and into a secure cloud. Our solutions improve efficiency and our CPA approved calculations eliminate errors. Uh, solve problems that matter, reduce costs, increase efficiency, minimize the risk. Um, about us. So we are on a mission to make accountants lives easier by simplifying the complex. We empower our customers by delivering the most user friendly and trustworthy uh, financial accounting solutions in the world. Uh, so you guys, if you, um, if you have been looking into, you know, doing some accounting yourself for your business, or if you have an accountant, uh, or if you are an accountant yourself, definitely check a look at lease query. Um, see how they can help you basically do your accounting accounting work a little bit more efficiently for that case. Uh, built in Tulsa. Yesterday we talked about Tulsa, Oklahoma a little bit. Um, as we know, Tulsa was the um, location for the Black Wall Street. And uh, right now it's actually booming. Uh, looks like they're trying to rebuild Tulsa. Um, bring back the Black Wall Street, um, bring back technology, bring back all of the um, businesses into Tulsa and everything. Uh, so we're building the infrastructure for black entrepreneurial entrepreneurial success. Uh, we invest human capital, social capital, and financial capital to help black founders achieve breakout success, um, start, scale, and sustain. Uh, connect with a build in Tulsa Colts to get you started. Get matched with the right program or accelerator. Join our community for events, programming, and networking. Uh, build skills, network, and capital. Oh, that's a program there. Choose your starting point. Yeah, so this is uh, this is interesting. So they're like a, uh, I don't want to say a one-stop shop, but those like they do quite a bit as far as like you know helping entrepreneurs get their business off the ground, whether they're already in business or they're just thinking about starting a business as well. Uh, provides entrepreneurs with a network of accelerators, mentoring, education, networking, and direct financial assistance to build community and strategic partnerships. Uh, go to their about us page. We're using tech to close the racial wealth gap. Uh, the mission is to build in Tulsa. The mission of build in Tulsa is to close the racial wealth gap in America by catalyzing the creation of multi-generational black wealth through tech and entrepreneurship rooted in the legacy of black wall street build in Tulsa is committed to providing opportunity for minority entrepreneurs who have historically been denied resources and funding. Um, our approach to elevating founders addressing some of the barriers uh, founder is Desiree Lindsay another founder is Tim Butler another founder is Crystal Speed cool 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 yeah so yeah this this would be one I would uh and again, I always, I think I mentioned it before, I always like to like look at some of their partners and people that they've done work with. Um, Co-founder of EdTech startup Bottle, Clarence, Clarence Tan and Edna Martinson completed Act Tulsa, then received an investment from Lightship. Uh, so Bottle, it looks like it's an EdTech startup. So I would look into that and see you know what actually that they do. 
Um, cause again, you know, you never know. We never know what might come out of it. Um, next up here is Chime Solutions, transforming customer service, empowering lives. Uh, I'm gonna go to their about page real quick. Chime Solutions delivers best in class contact center solutions as a service with an emphasis on our people first culture, entrepreneurial growth mindset and community center involvement. Um, Chime challenges the outsourcing status quo by redefining customer care as a service through its socially driven mission, enabling our clients to succeed and communities to thrive. Um, that's their mission. Their vision is to transform service and empower lives. Why Chime? Chime is the multiplier that helps companies succeed, individuals flourish, and communities thrive. We are for smart, progressive businesses that question the status quo because Chime knows we can make customer interactions better and the world better at the same time. Um, so yeah, so their, their whole thing is customer service. Um, and it's sad to say, but in the black community, customer service is not always the best. Uh, so this is, uh, this is actually a good one in my opinion. Um, I mean, cause we need it. I mean, I'm just going to be honest. <laughs> we, we need it. We need it. We need a whole lot more, but you know, we need, um, we need to start from the, from the ground up sometimes. So when, when we discover great talent here in our communities, our customers tap into great talent at virtually the same economic value as offshore by leisure, by leveraging the multiplier effect. Our goal is to create 10,000 jobs in under-resourced communities. Um, Okay, so these are different, different uh, business owners. There, uh, we've got answers. We can you can join a movement. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so next up here we have collective. Um, and collective, um, well, actually, no, I think I think somebody from collective spoke. It was a lady, I believe. Uh, but collective, uh, you were at Black Tech Week yesterday. You oh actually all the days you would have seen a bunch of people walking around with collective shirts on, and on their shirts you would have seen a camera. Um, so I think what it is is that collective actually brings together uh, groups of people. Uh, in this case, I don't know if they were just photographers, but you know, you know it was mostly photographers there. But brings together a group of people who you know have a common business and um, you know common goal and stuff like that. Um, every human is a creator. That's one hundred percent true. Build your portfolio. Build your community. Build your world. How does it work? Build your three hundred and sixty portfolio. Add your bio, skills, interests, social media links, and all of your content in a way that shows who you are and what it is that you do. Uh, discover creators. Scroll through the diverse work of creators found around the world and gain inspiration for your next project. Showcase your collaborators, tag your collaborators on the content your, you post to your portfolio, grow your community, invite your, invite your creative crew and find friends in like-minded individuals already on the platform. Um, so, and I don't, uh, yeah, so how does it work? So let's see how it works here. Can I click on it? Oh, I'm already in how it works. Oops. Uh, join the wait list, brands, facts, search for creators. Um, so yeah, it looks like it's more of a platform though. Invite your creative crew and find friends and like my individual already on the platform. Um, Brand streamline freelance creator hiring sourcing talent through collective takes 29% less time and it costs 98% less money than the average hire. Post an opportunity, review curated matches, get to work. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so you, you can definitely hire some of these guys, people here too, as well. Cool, cool. 
Um, so yeah, so if you guys need uh, these services, you can come out here, um, definitely post uh, some of your opportunities for people to, um, or some creators to, um, to you know, get a job from. Or if you're a creator yourself and you're looking to, uh, to be hired, um, Collective may be the route to go. Uh, Healthy Roots Dolls. Become a VIP curl friend. <laughs> um, yep, yep, okay then. Let me see. Yep, that's exactly what I wanted to see. So, um, Healthy Roots Dolls are all about black girls seeing themselves in doll form. Um, 18 inches in height. It's washable and stylable hair. So, it's, yeah, so it's all about the hair. Um, Zoe is the first healthy roots doll and she is far from average. Zoe learned to love her each Zoe learned to love her each of her curls that probably her probably wants to be in there. Zoe learned to love each of her curls after her mom helped her big chopped. Um, now she's here to help other girls love their curls too. A black a beautiful black dog with naturally curly hair. Um, wait, is that real hair? That can't be real hair. Cause I mean, you know, people do donate their hair. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be interested to see if they, if they took donated hair and actually put them on a doll. That would be interesting. Um, you never know. I mean, interesting. Um, so yeah, so if you would like, uh, if you have daughters out there and you would like your daughter to play with a black doll that looks like her, um, check out Healthy Roots, Healthy Roots dolls. Um, these, I mean, these curls are like curling, curling too. Um, uh, again, go to the About Us page. Our mission. I think these are the two founders there. Healthy Roots Dolls, a toy company that creates dolls and storybooks and empower young girls and represent the beauty of our diversity. Uh, our find our founder, Elitsa Jean Charles, gave a TEDx talk exploring the issue of race, identity, and diversity. She looks to the options society provides to girls of color and considers a more diverse and inclusive future. Powered by women entrepreneurs. Um, okay, so I think that's her here. Yalitza. Uh, she never had a doll that looked like her growing up. That's not surprising. The one time her parents gave her a black doll, she burst into it because it wasn't the pretty one. Oh. Uh, since then, Yalitza has made it her goal to make sure that no other children feel the way she did. I'm sorry, just kind of reading her story there. Um, so yeah, cool. Next up we have uh, Femi. I'm assuming that's how you pronounce that. Um, healthier and happier woman. Um, this is all about woman products, woman hygiene products, um, pads, wipes, um, pretty panties it looks like here. Um, okay, so we got fashionable, pretty panties, uh, period panties, as I say, makes life easier and more convenient with eight hours of leak-free protection. Nice, nice, nice. Um, this is one of those things where I have absolutely no, um, <laughs> no experience on so I'm just gonna provide the information and, and let the woman take to it for sure um, looks like we got a quite a few products here I want to go to about page of course uh, our story um, oh man they didn't fill out their their about page 
And this is one of the times where I would actually like contact the company um, and just say, hey, like, you know, I went to your website, something, something, something. Um, definitely got to fill out the About uh, Us page because, you know, people would like to know the story behind the brand. Um, I want to feel included in that. So um, can't remember exactly who founded this, who started this. Um, but yeah, definitely do some uh, re re more research on this as well. Uh, ladies, if um, this is interesting to you, check out femisecrets.com, uh, F-E-M-I, and the word secrets.com. Um, next up here is Wider Style, and this is widerstyle.com, a uh, style that goes beyond fashion. Every outfit is an opportunity to transform your entire life. Uh, get the book. Um, the Worthy Wardrobe by Morgan Wider. She is the creator. Uh, looks like an author also here. Um, so what is it actually that you do, Miss Wider? Uh, executive Style Sessions with Morgan. So she may be, and I'm going to just click on an about page. Uh, then I'm going to click on the services page. So I'm going to see. Becoming the smart woman stylist. Okay, so I was gonna say she may be a stylist. Um, and I'm just kind of reading through here, guys. I don't mean to go silent on you, but uh, just doing a quick breeze through um, of who she is, what she's all about. Um, she started a wider style to help other women make the same transformation I did and um, and to help them finally see themselves, all of themselves and their inherent radiance and beauty. I want other women to know that being stylish is OK and that it is safe. I use my diverse background to work with professional women throughout the world and help them understand that being seen as a well put together and attractive woman doesn't detract from their intelligence and professional accomplishments, but in fact, it enhances them. Um, random thought. I always wondered the difference, how it works when uh, speaking in first term or first person term versus third person uh, when you're doing like a bio and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> sorry. So, yeah, and then I'm going to click on services down here to see what all she does so that you guys are aware of it. Again, it looks like. Uh, oh, so she's an investor also. Uh, if you're tired of walking to your closet, <clears throat> having nothing to wear, then it's three, three much packages for you. I'll come to your home for three days each quarter to assess your needs, purge your closet, plan outfits and shop. OK, uh, pretty professional. Uh, this package will provide you with not only the wardrobe that will enhance your executive presence, but it also includes a photo shoot to give you collateral for your website. Okay. Um, overflowing closet, big event coming up. No idea how to wear what you already own. No need to panic. I make house calls. This two house service can be used to purge your closet or to help plan outfits with um, what you already own. Virtual consult during this 30 minute virtual session. Uh, okay, so this is a consultation. Okay, all right, so yeah, she's definitely a stylist. Um, so ladies, it looks like uh, if you have any need for her services, definitely check her out. Again, website is widerstyle.com. Um, EY, uh, this is, this is an interesting one because I actually came across EY like earlier today on something completely unrelated. Um, fine, except cookies, completely unrelated. Um, and it was, I forget what, I was browsing through something and I saw it. Um, so this is interesting how I'm kind of like back full circle. Um, this is also a dot com, which is amazing. I don't know how much they paid for ey.com, but I don't even think there exists any more two 
uh, two letter dot coms out there. I think the only one you might get is a five letter dot com, um, which is which is sometimes not ideal, but whatever. Um, so yeah, so what is EY? What do they do? Who are they? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Um, okay, not seeing much here. I'm going to just go down to uh, my EY. And I figured that was going to do that. I don't, I don't have anything to log in with. So please take me back. EY.com services. Um, EY helps clients create long-term value for stakeholders enabled by data and technology. Our services and solutions provide trust through assurance and help clients transform, grow, and operate. Okay. about us, all right. At EY, our purpose is building a better working world. The insights and services we provide help to create long-term value for clients, people, and society, and build trust in the market. Um, wait, let me do about us again. Oh, that is there about us, oh, okay. Oh wait, no, okay, so our purpose at EY, our purpose is building a better working world. The insights and quality services we provide help build trust and confidence in the capital markets and in econo economies the world over. The we develop outstanding leaders who team. We develop outstanding leaders who team to deliver, probably who team up to deliver our on our promises to all our stakeholders. In so doing, we play a critical role in building a better working world for our people. Um, yeah, and this one isn't hundred percent clear on what it is that they do. This would be one I had to do more research on as well. How do they impact the people? Um, stakeholder capitalism so they may be more of a venture capital type of company as well I to keep talking about capital and funding and stuff so shareholders all that good stuff so um, I'm, again you know this is kind of a uh, blind overview I'm just be honest I don't I don't fully know exactly what they provide here um, but yeah this would be one to look into if you guys are ooh. AI blockchain. I do. I do know what that is. <laughs> I do know what that is. Uh, this would be one to kind of just dig into for yourselves, guys, and um, and check them out. Um, looks like Mr. Carmine DeCivio is the CEO. Okay. Um, so moving forward here. Um, Barbershop speaks. Barbershop speaks. Actually, this gentleman here. Um, Jefferson Noel, he was actually um, not a speaker. He is actually a speaker as well, but he was more of the host. He was um, basically uh, asking another person a question. I think her name was Tiffany. Um, and it looks like he already, he has his own business as well uh, that I wanted to uh, kind of share here as well. Uh, so Barbershop Speaks. We believe the barbershop is a community's classroom where everyone is both the teacher and the student. Um, he is the founder of it. They have what they call crypto convos, crypto conversations uh, about building your own bank. Um, and I think this is a kind of like a, uh, uh, what is it called? Podcast podcast there you go um, crypto conversations in Philly um, so yeah so I think they just I mean do you uh, it looks like they kind of just go around to different barber shops maybe 
and actually hold like actual conversations and speak to people. This one was in Miami in April. Um, or maybe not go around, but they might have different locations and stuff like that. Also, what the heck is Web3? Bitcoin briefly explained the wonders of Web3. So that looks like their main thing right now is all about web and technology and stuff. Um, our vision. I just want to click on that real quick. Uh, I don't know why they took me to a separate page. The purpose of Barbershop Speaks is to engage in intelligent discussions and enlighten, to enlighten, educate, and empower the community. Given poor access to information and resources in un under underserved communities, there must be innovative uh, approaches to bettering our livelihoods. Barbershops and beauty salons are hubs in every are hubs in every neighborhood that does not discriminate against race, religion, political persuasion, socioeconomic status, age, etc., etc. This makes them the perfect place to build spaces to spur financial, relational, and educational growth. Um, so yeah, I'm loving that because this is very true. I mean, I get my hair cut um, every so often. My hair grows pretty slow, so not as often as I as I would like to sometimes. But in inside the barbershop, uh, especially at like peak times, if you go early in the morning, it's like nobody there. Uh, but during peak times, I mean. It's a lot of good people in there uh, that has been doing a lot of wonderful things around the community that you wouldn't even know. Um, so the barbershop is like, I don't know why, but this is literally one of those places where you can actually go um, and just, you know, get <laughs> get information. It's, it's, it's wonderful how that works out. Uh, one thing about this gentleman also, he's actually a college professor and he's, he looks so young. And he, but he's, he's a full on college professor. That's what's up. Um, yeah, this, I don't know why this came up like that. There we go. Um, so come back over here now. Apps without code. Apps without code. I actually am subscribed to her like newsletter, Miss Tara Reed. Um, I see her emails like all the time. Um, and she has been doing something wonderful in the past few I want to say years uh, she's been teaching people how to build apps with absolutely no code um, yeah that's <laughs> I think yesterday it was a Nix Nix code Nix code is one of the platforms that actually uh, uh, does that as well um, apps without code is an online school teaching people how to build their own apps without code and make money from them we built apps without code to for people who do not have a background in the tech sector but want to develop original app ideas and break into this field trust us you don't need to have steve job profile to become successful in the tech industry just ask our alumni um Wow, okay. 85,000 entrepreneurs in 14 different countries. I mean, she's really grown a lot. Um, there she is there, Miss Tara Reed. Um, she built Collectos app without a single line of code. Again, so this is one of the times where you want to go to, like, see what other apps have been, um, uh, see what other apps have been created on this platform or well, not with this platform on this platform because uh, she uses different platforms to actually create it she's just teaching you how to use those platforms and understanding the code behind it so that you can actually make it work for yourselves um, but yeah um, do it so she have an about about us yeah about us I just go there again I, I know quite a bit about this already but you guys might not so uh, we teach ambition ambitious professionals how to conceptualize and create apps using absolutely no code hey guess what you do not need a degree in it or experience in silicon valley to have a successful and profitable fully functioning app uh, we humanize app development um hi world i'm Terry reed i am the ceo of apps without code um after leading marketing initiatives at google foursquare and microsoft i built my first successful app collecto without writing a single line of code um because code scares a lot of people code is essentially just another language i mean imagine if you don't know german or if you don't know um arabic or, or whatever 
Um, it's, it's, it's another language. It definitely is. It's a language that computers and robots understand. Um, think of zeros and ones and stuff like that. And, you know, so you have to basically put yourself in that mindset. Uh, so it's good to start early as a child. Um, but, you know, if you're at this age, wherever, however old you are, um, it could become a scary thing. And, you know, you have ideas and stuff that you want to want to create. Um, and coding should not steer you away from actually doing so. So um, definitely check out Apps Without Code. It's appswithoutcode.com for more information there. And then here we have uh, Hello7. And Hello7, we should all be millionaires. 100% agree. Uh, even billionaires now. A billion is not even, I mean, I'm not million is like having a thousand bucks nowadays crazy uh, depending on how inflation is where you are at let us show you how to make seven figures um, take the growth scale assessment to diagnose uh, what is it that we do at hello seven we teach women how to build wealth we provide business training legal services and money mindset coaching to help you achieve your financial goals we want you to have so much money you never have to worry about money ever again um, So yeah, so you could hire them to uh, basically help grow your business. Um, and I'm trying to see, it's probably on the About Us page, but the founder uh, about, uh, it's a woman, woman run company specializing in business, marketing, financial and legal training. Our mission is to help uh, you make more money, period. We teach you how to increase your income, build wealth, and earn seven figures. If you want from some hello, if you want some hello seven magic in your life, join We Should All Be Millionaires, the club, an online community for women who want to make bank. Um, Rachel Rogers. I was trying to find her name. Rachel Rogers is the founder of the of the Hello Seven, um, and it's Hello Seven dot co. That is the um, website. You just kind of see their team there. All right, and so here we are. Last, but of course not least, because there are a bunch of wonderful black-owned companies out there is Serena Ventures. Um, so I'm going to be completely honest and transparent. I did not know why Serena was coming out to a black tech week because I never knew she was into tech. Um, but as I learned, um, she is very much into tech. Uh, she has its own venture capitalist firm um, that is essentially, and I think I mentioned something before, I forget if it was today or yesterday or the day before that, uh, about how a report came out saying that um, only like 1% of all funds go to like black businesses um, when it comes to like venture capitalism and stuff like that. So she wanted to combat this. She wanted to come out with her own uh, firm that would actually, you know, promote these black businesses and, you know, put money behind them. Um, and so she did. So you guys can definitely check out... Um, firm here uh, again I'm pretty sure everyone knows um, who Serena Williams is but you may not know what she is into so she has this venture capitalist firm here uh, I don't really see uh, about us page so I'm gonna just click on the team and see what I get uh, we plan we play we win we do VC differently through standout strategies bold initiatives and global network of investors, business leaders, and influencers. Um, Ms. Serena Williams, the managing partner, uh, Alice, uh, Allison Rappaport Stillman is a general partner, Abir Levine is the principal, um, and so on and so forth. Uh, since 2014, Serena Ventures, I mean, it's 2014, where have I been at? <laughs> um, that's crazy. 
like I said, this again, this is why this show exists because we've this stuff has been brewing behind us, bef and, and we haven't even, or at least me, I don't know about you guys, but that's why I created this show is because I haven't heard of a lot of this stuff. You don't really see a lot of this stuff getting portrayed out in the media. Um, so yeah, I just want to shed light on all, all of this stuff. Uh, has champion founders whose perspective and innovation is level the playing field for women and people of color. We believe that check writers should be change agents. So we invest in products and ideas that unlock value for investors, doors for founders, and opportunities for everyone to live better. Um, all right. So, and Serena Williams is only just an email away. Um, SerenaVentures.com is her website. Um, for sure, definitely check her out and, um, yeah, look into what she's been up to. Like, and I, I haven't heard anything about her, uh, and her ventures in the past. So I was really, I'm really curious to know what else she has been up to. She has a clothing line as well. Can't think of the name of it right now, but, um, definitely want to check that out. Look into it. Um, yeah, so that is all it. Uh, black tech week is technically officially over. Um, today, Friday, they have a kind of like a job fair thing going on, um, in which, um, you do also definitely check out as well. So, um, but without further ado, um, that is all it for today. And you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, uh, have a great weekend as well. See ya.